Hello and welcome to the homework video for fifth grade for Tuesday, April the 14th. This covers the homework from lesson 9.4. So we were working with line graphs and taking information on a table, putting it on the coordinate plane and then making our graph and then answering questions about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems that we were working on. So uh, to start with, we needed to use all of this information to help us with number four. Um, number two, what would be an appropriate scale? We could go from zero to 50. I chose to only go to 45 uh, for this. If we were answering number three, which you'd probably want to think about to make your graph as well, um, we could probably count by fives each time that we have a new line going vertically. Number four, this is going to give us this for a graph. I've tried to go back in and make the dots big enough that you can see. Um, now, one additional thing is we could have possibly done um, the little squiggly line thing that they did in their in your book and make the starting point six here and then count up by fives. Um, and the only reason I argue that is because we have 11, 16, 31, and 41 that we could put exactly on the line um, if we started here with six and counted up by fives. We would just have to put a little um, thing in there that they did in the book to show that this part here is not zero to six and then we're counting by fives from there. Um, so just for sake of argument. Number six, which uh, two hours uh, did the least change occur during? Be between 10 and 11 a.m. going back up to our chart. Um, they went from only eight degrees to 11 and three degrees change is our smallest. The next uh, smallest one uh, would also be 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So you could also have that one for an answer. Um, so uh, actually both of those would probably be the most correct answer. But if you put one of those two as uh, your answer, then you're at least on the right track. So uh, number one on the back. So about how many centimeters did the plant grow? If we are using the word about, sometimes we will see this little like um, squiggly swooping um, equals sign. So it might look a little something like this. Though we would use for in place of the word about or approximate instead of equal to. Um, so I used that or tried to draw it. This is a much better representation of that. But if I add um, the total amount, I go to week three, it would be about 60 inches. And then, uh, or sorry, 60 centimeters. Um, and then number two, between which two weeks did the plant grow the least? It would be right here. So between weeks four and five. So I hope all of that was uh, pretty easy for you. It was probably a little bit more difficult to put in the Google form. Um, pictures are probably a better option for that. But um, again, you can just kind of send me a comment or I left it to where you could type in uh, what you were looking to answer for that. So hopefully that worked out well for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to comment in Google Classroom. Let me know what's going on. Um, tomorrow is um, Tuesday. Um, being uh, the uh, Zoom meeting. Um, so that's open to third, fourth, and fifth grade. It'll be from nine to one. Uh, details on that will be posted in Google Classroom. I'll also be recording my video uh, for the lesson that will come out on Wednesday. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.